Good morning fellows, it's Wednesday the 31st of August, um, it's 5 to 8 and I am just about to drive off to spend the day with Richard Conway from First Class Ales because we're brewing a beer today for the opening night. Mm, met over them a couple of weeks ago to kind of discuss it, get some tasty notes what kind of beer we want to do. Um, hopefully going to be a porter mm, with hints of coffee and chocolate mm, and things like that um, which is going to be really fun um, I've been on brewery tours before uh, I've never really taken part and he does it properly he's been ordering like the hops and special hops barley all stuff like that it's the real deal and if I'm honest I probably couldn't tell you 100% how beer is actually brewed because you, you got the hot liquor and the wort and all that and then you have the yeast and you ferment it and you pipe it all back and through in tanks and stuff so it's going to be really interesting. So I'm just about to set off after I've had this tiny, tiny coffee. Mm. Oh. Right, let's go! I have arrived. Traffic was fine. Now in reddish. There's Richard's van. Bit of, bit of publicity for him. First class ales. He does brew some fantastic beer. And here we are. That is uh, lock up. There's a little, there's a little open. You can see a crate. That's quite exciting. Uh, so yeah, let's go and brew some beer. Okay, so this is the mash tun. We are adding hot water, about 70 odd degrees. I'm going to add some water treatment agent. Got in there. I'm going to give it a stir with this canoe paddle. Okay, so the mash tun's filling up slowly. Here's the grains. Just had a taste, it tastes good. Um, and this is the hard part, putting that and then into there. Go see of this gentleman, this is Richard. <laughs> right, let's get cracking. Okay, so we're going to have a little brewing lesson. So in this colossal tank here, got the hot liquor, which is just water, which is kept warm. So what we're going to do is pump hot water into here, which is the mash tun. Got all that ready for later. Uh, and we're going to throw a ton of um, malts and grains and things into the top, which I'll be doing. I'll be standing on there. Um, move this out of the way. Um, so, crack on with that. Once that's done, you set it up just so I can film it. If that's going to boil. That, that's going to boil for 90 minutes once everything, once all the barley and stuffs in there. I'm going to pump it out. It's going to pump, 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 pump into the copper. Um, where it's going to sit. Um, obviously keep that closed. I'm going to add hops at that point. Uh, then we do a rinse because obviously all the grains are still at the bottom there. So we're going to sparge it. We'll add some other water treatment agents at that point, uh, which then rinses more sugars and flavours out of the barley. But again, come into the uh, copper here. <coughs> Hello. Um, and then, once everything's in there, it gets 
pumped from the bottom into the heat exchanger, this massive thing through this tiny, tiny heat exchanger. And what happens here is the water that's coming out of here, the hot liquor, sorry, uh, very, very hot. It has to go through here and then out to the fermenter. It's gonna be this nice empty one. So what happens is the hot liquor comes in here. Um, no, it's not hot liquor, it's wort, wort, sorry. Getting a bloody words wrong. We've got cold water coming in through this copper pipe. And they mix, but, well, they don't mix, they don't touch. Um, this is kind of like a, a radiator, I suppose, heat exchanger. So, the cold water goes in one side. Then the wort comes in the other side. And they basically swap temperatures. So we're looking at about 20 degrees, about 60 degrees going in, about 20 degrees coming out into the fermenter. All that heat gets pumped out as hot water, follows that pipe, and it goes back into the hot liquor tank, and it's already heated, and it just stays warm. So you don't need to, you don't need to keep reheating the hot liquor. It uses the residual heat from our brew now to warm that water back up, they swap temperatures through here, which is genius. Something I've never known before. Uh, we're gonna end up, I presume, this empty one. Got another couple of brews at Richard's on the go again, which is a secret, I'm not allowed to say. Um, so we're gonna end up in here. Uh, just getting a delivery in. Here's a tour of the brewery, actually. Kegs. These are full, they are empty. Uh, I was leaning on this before. Uh, I didn't really know what it was. <laughs> it was bottles. It's just thousands and thousands and thousands of empty bottles. Pissing it down outside. Fullens. That's bloody lovely stuff. Key kegs. Uh, empties. Mine will be in these. Soon. So that's got a 90 minute we're in there. That's got a 90 minute boil on it. So we put it in at nine o'clock. Well, we, we finished putting everything in at nine o'clock, quarter to ten. So I've got to add hops and other things like that. Um, which I will show you shortly. So Chris is stirring in the grains. The heat I'm experiencing right now is absolutely incredible. What about the smell? Tell me about the smell. Yeah, the smell, it just smells exactly like we've ever done. We've gone past the brewery or Doing it, you know, open it up probably about to about that, that angle there. <laughs> so then we'll get some grain coming out of the front of the Right, see, like I said before, it's actually come out quite pale to start with. Right, so shortly in the dark, it'll, it'll start to darken up. That's just the very first bit where we put the pale moist in at the beginning. Right. Smells awesome. <laughs> That's that classic brewery smell now. Kind of sickly sweet and malty. Don't worry, 
Nice nut brown anyway. <laughs> Very nut brown. Okay, so we're going to start pumping. Going to go up through there and it's going to go down into the copper. There's me at the back. Here we go. I can hear something happening. There we go. Just about to see that. Ah, that's Hey. Um, we're probably going to want to shut this in a minute. I'm still emptying that. And we've run a bit off. It's quite warm. We've, we've given it a try. It's quite tasty. It's, it's like some kind of multi chocolatey, warm, very, very sweet bedtime drink or something like that. It's not. It's not not quite what you'd expect from a beer yet, obviously. It's, it's unusual in a nice way. Which is still not convinced about the colour. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Okay, now we're starting to run short of liquid coming out because of all the grain that's in the bottom. We've started sparging. Oh god, I can get up here. So Richard attached this groovy little attachment, which is just spraying hot liquor. See all the grains there at the bottom. Uh, and this is basically rinsing them, getting to, oh, I'm all steamed up. There we go. This is rinsing them and getting um, any excess sugars that we might have missed with that initial drain. Rinsing them for the sugars and getting all those out, making sure we get them. 